Kat. How are you? When somebody talks about brand and about branding, and when you as an entrepreneur are at that moment in your business where you have to define your brand, you will usually hear a lot about Think about what you stand for. Think about uh, what represents you, what message you want to give to your audience, and how are you, how are you going to connect with your clients or, or your audience. And when you start thinking about your brand that way, it can be overwhelming because it's very, very hard to define what we stand for. So you start thinking about, I want uh, to people to think of me as that I'm accessible, that I am honest, that I am many, many, many good things. But those things don't really make a concise brand. So my power tip here is something that I work with my clients. When they work with me, I do this exercise with them. And is that instead of thinking about the positive traits that you want in your brand, think about the negative stuff. Think about all the things that you want to stand against. Uh, and that is a very, very easy way to actually define what you stand for, right? Because if you want to be perceived, uh, I don't know, as a, let's say as a salesy person, you naturally are going to start um, backing away from those kind of traits. Traits that are going to be represented uh, on your visual, visual message, on your copywriting, and many other things that works toward your brand. And no, I don't just say, think about the negatives, think about what you want, want to stand against, but another interesting exercise that is really going to help you to put words to your brand is when you think about the negatives, research your competitors. And this one is going to be a very, very tiny part of the exercise that I do with my clients. But what you should do is make a list. Make a list of 10 competitors in your niche that you like and write what you like about them. Check out their social media. Check out how they talk with their clients. And at the same time, do the same list, but with 10 competitors that you hate. That for whatever reason, they didn't speak to you or that you don't think that they would speak to your audience. And that is a very, very concise way to define what you stand for and what your, uh, what your brand message is. And you will, it will be easier that way for you to really create a message and connect with your clients. Can you give me an example? Um, in the one where you say, you know, think about the negatives, the things that you stand against, what might be an example of that? All right. Well, I'm going to, to put myself as an example. Uh, I recently revamped all my services and I really had to think about the message that I want to say to my clients. And what I stand against, for example, is the generalism. As a brand, a brand and strategist and as a graphic designer, you, I see my competitors all the time offering you everything. I mean, it's not real. They can't do everything themselves. They can't do SEO, they can do um, social media marketing, they can do web design, they can do logo design. Somebody that says that they can do everything is lying to you and I really want to stand against that. So my services are very, very, very concise in what I offer. I offer branding, web design and copywriting in a week and I work with a team that does that. So my guess, my standing will be, my positive side will be, I will be very honest with you and what I can do and what I cannot do because my, um, my goal is to give you a quality product in terms of your brand in my case. And I don't want to say that I will do everything just to get you as a client. Mm -hmm.